Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellency, our President, Prime Cabinet Secretary, my brother Adam Duale, Governors present, Ministers present, Members of Parliament, Members of Diplomatic Corps, Senior Civil Servants, and our Muslim Brothers. This is my second iftar this season. I think I'm very blessed to have enjoyed with you. And I have many of you as my friends. So a bit of Islam has rubbed on me through osmosis. <laughs> I work with many, many Muslim brothers and sisters in this country. And I admire your way of life. Because from the time you wake up to the time you go to rest in the evening, you are governed by the holy book. And I've taken time to read the Quran. I have an English translation Quran. And the more I read the Quran, the more I see the Old Testament of the Bible. They are almost identical in many respects. The prophets and the history of religion and what messages they brought to humanity, warnings, directions. So if we live by the holy books, we'll have very few problems among us. Because most of the people who do those negative things, the strong negative influences coming into our country, they're all against the holy books. And we should resist them. We should live by the word of God. God made man, God made a woman, and that's what he intended it to be. And we must live that way. Fellow Muslims, today in our country, we have so many fairy tales. People wake up and say things that are bizarre. You know, they remind me what Shakespeare said, that if you had kept your mouth shut, one would have thought you are clever. But the more you speak, the more you expose yourself to everybody, and the more ridiculous you look. The president has said many times that wa Kenya vile tunaishi, wajinga waliisha. Every Kenyan knows something about something. So I want to urge fellow leaders that this country needs peace. This country needs development. And there will be no angels that will descend upon this country to give us peace. It is us, ourselves. Each one of us must play a role. Malim Nyerere always said, everything is possible, it can be done, it shall be done, provided you do your part. Because each one of us has a role. So as we come to the end of Ramadan, I want to urge Kenyans that the humility, the tranquility, the manner in which we have been each other's keeper through Ramadan should continue regardless of the season of our religious festivals. As Christians, we have also come through Easter. We had our long Lent, which is similar to Ramadan, but not as strict. We keep uh, fasting for just about a week, largely on Fridays, but it is the same religion. Your Excellency, as I finish, I want to encourage Kenyans to impress God. In Parliament, Your Excellency, I have established a prayer room 
for Christians and a prayer room for Muslims. And I encourage our MPs that instead of shouting at each other on the floor of the house, go to the prayer room and sit and speak to your God. And your God will descend on you to tell you that raising your voice does not amount to winning the argument. You can speak very softly and deliver a very powerful message. So fellow Kenyans, our nduguzetu ambao wanaleta taruki, unajua nilisikia mvuri ya kitaja kitabu cha kusadikika. Katika kusadikika, Shaban Robert anasema, katika inji ya kusadikika, maneno kama chuki, maneno ya kutukanana, maneno ya kuleta taharuki, tunaendelea kuyatoa katika msamiati wetu. Ili tuwe na inji ya ufasaha, ya raha, ya amani, ya upendo, na inji ambaye yoyote anaye kuja kusadikika atajua ndiyo inji kila mtu anataka and mvuri is not true that kusadikika is uh, what you said kwa sababu katika kusadikika kulikuwa na wajumbe kutoka kaskazini kutoka kusi kutoka mashariki kutoka magharibi na wakaketi na musome anaitwa burhan na wakaongea maneno walipomaliza inja kusadikika became the modern day utopia na hapa Kenya pia tukija hivyo muislamu atokee huku mukristo atokee huku hata Yesu watongarena atokee huku tunajua yeye ni Yesu bandia lakini yeye pia kujachangia tujenge inji yetu Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Pray for our president to continuously carry the weight of the pleasures and the problems of our country because the back ends on his table. But he will not carry that weight alone without your prayers, without your support, and without your goodwill. Honorable Musalia, I now welcome you. Thank you. Unataka niseme his dej. His dej is dej.